Hey guys, Alex from 7th Hour Films back again with Mr. Robot. Last time on Mr. Robot, um, how am I going to say these? Uh, I mean, technically, the title is Hello Friend, but if you want to be, if you want to be accurate, uh, the title of last episode was EPS 1.0 underscore Hello Friend dot MOV. And now I'm going to have to say that for the beginning of every episode, aren't I? Great. Great. Yes, last episode was the first episode of Mr. Robot, where we were introduced to our protagonist, Elliot, and uh, that he he works at this place as a tech guy, and uh, he's also a cyber vigilante, and uh, he goes around and he, he's kind of like digital Robin Hood, honestly. Like, he goes around and is like, yo... You, like, like, for example, uh, he went to the owner of Ron's Coffee in New York, and he was like, yo, I know you have a website of child porn, so, yeah, and, he, like, here's all the evidence, and he was like, okay, what do you want, like, what, how much do you want me to pay so that you won't say anything, and he's like, yeah, I don't think you get this, I, I don't want the money, speaking of, look, it's the cops that I called, so, yeah, he's kind of just a... He's a cyber vigilante. It's actually really cool. Um, and he actually is uh, the person of interest for a guy that we know as Mr. Robot, who wants to bring about a revolution, a revolution, uh, in order to basically get rid of all debt. Like, all debt. 100% and start from scratch. And this hits home to Elliot because his friend... Angela, I think it was Angela, yeah, um, has like almost $200,000 of student debt, yeesh, um, so he uh, ends up helping them, uh, but then he says throughout the entire episode that he's being followed by dudes in suits, and um, then at the end, he's taken by the dudes in suits to what he calls the top 1% of the top 1% of 1% that rule the world. And uh, he actually recognizes one of them as a guy from another place that he met at his work. Yes. I'm surprised I can do that well of a recap, considering at time of recording this, I haven't actually edited the first episode yet. Um, I, I, I meant to. It, it wasn't that I just, oh, I just haven't gotten around to it. No, it's, there's, I, I screwed something up. I mean, nothing, like, horrible, but I, I messed something up basically just delaying me editing it. And normally, if I have edited the last episode, I remember more of it. But, I mean, I guess that's a pretty decent recap, uh, all things considered. So, yeah. Also, Elliot wears a hoodie. So now in every Mr. Robot video, I'm going to be wearing this hoodie. This is going to be very difficult once the summer months roll around, but we will... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna survive it for the bit. And that's what we do. With that being said, let's go ahead and get right into episode two of Mr. Robot. Here we go. Bonsoir, Elliot. <laughs> I love how he says bonsoir. Like fucking Paul Nareff. Just no accent at all. Elliot Alderson. I want to offer you... Wasn't it Anderson? ...a position here at Evil. I want I love you to have our cybersecurity division. When you do this, you'll be a multi-millionaire within the next five years. Wow. What do you say? What do you say to that? Mm -hmm. Evil Corp has just named me interim CTO. Wow. It won't be long until it's official. I think I'm... Happy where I am. All right. It's not gonna. I don't know if that's gonna last, but. I mean, I'm trying to think like, okay, well, maybe if he gets on the inside or something, but I don't know what he would do there. Hey, man. What? You think I forgot about you? Trust me, I need you now more than ever. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. I forgot, I'm sorry. He doesn't even use two-step verification. His password uh, was just his wife's maiden name in Sweden's Independence State 6-6. Six, six. 
left. Did he let me? I'm gonna need to wipe everything. Oh god. Well, that happened. Who knows how deep these data dumps are gonna get? An evil corp is a- What are you talking about? There's a twist. Huh. You're usually the one a step ahead of me. They hit the mother load during the breach. Potentially terabytes worth of emails and files. Oh. They're threatening to dump everything unless the FBI frees Colby. Huh? They released the video this morning. Hello, evil corp. We are F Society. Over the years, we've been watching Love their name. Release our leader, Terry Colby, from your illegitimate prison immediately. Second, release all the people of the world from your even more illegitimate prisons of debt. Third, resolve your corporation and donate all your assets to charities around the world. Hmm. This proposal is non-negotiable. This ain't going to happen. They don't have Take these demands or we will kill you. Consider yourself warned. Wow. Play it again. No. Yo, 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 my album just dropped. That is yo, straight terrorism. Why the hell are you in my shower? Well, I was waiting for you. You were supposed to come last night. Did you forget? Come where? It's fine. Everyone's coming later. What are you talking about? She probably needs a walk or something. Shitting everywhere. Of course she needs a walk, Billy. She's a freaking dog. Yo, I want to stop and get some Froyo before we go. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh, Shayla okay. and there's Darlene. I gotta remember that. I owe you. Yeah, big time. Nah. Right, right. Okay. God, I, I'm sorry. I'm having, I'm having difficulties remembering characters. She's with Mr. Robot. Okay, I'm sorry. Comets, the natural gas plant up around Albany. Okay. We're gonna blow it up. Okay. I'm the plant's right next to Steel Mountain. Which, as you know, is the offsite and data storage facility for every corporation, the SMP, including everyone's favorite. Evil Corp. Bingo. Okay. Destroy their tape backups. Okay. Workers? Anyone living around the plant? And they all die? Well, give them a head start. Sound some alarms. They'll be fine. Hmm. Leah. Do it at night, maybe. You're blowing up a gas pipeline. The world is a dangerous place, Elliot. Not because of those who do evil, but because of those who look on and do nothing. This is war. People will die. Say them all. Hmm. What to do when a bunch of data you want to destroy is completely off the grid? You blow it up. So I'm instead of in hacking it. in, you're just gonna blow shit up. Are you a one or a zero? That's the question you have to ask yourself. Are you a yes or a no? Hmm. Are you gonna act? That's not that binary. Isn't it? Sure, there are grays. When you come right down to it, at its core, beneath every choice, is either a one or a zero. You either do something or you don't. Mm. You walk out that door, you decided to do nothing, to say no. Which means you do not come back. You leave, you are no longer a part of this. You become a zero. It's about how those bastards slowly killed your father and how you wished he'd done something about it, but he didn't. Because he was a zero. Well, Just what? like you're being right now. Did I? Fuck you. Nah. I gotta turn them in. Should I turn them in? Will I get into trouble? Shit. She's right. I'm culpable now. No, we're culpable. You're in this with me. Oh Just no. Start thinking of solutions. Uh, no. uh. I don't know. Just need to talk to Shayla. Oh, your girl. She in the tub. Okay. Don't be rude. Sit down and chill. Well, you chill, man. I've thought about turning him in, but he's Shayla's only supplier. Mm. I take him down, I lose my drugs, and with everything going on right now, I can't have that. You can't let uh, go. That's tough. People walk around, act like they know what hate means. Nah, no one does until you hate yourself. I mean, 
truly hate yourself. Mm-hmm. Best power. This is a fun conversation. In a weird way, I should be thanking you. You brought her to me. Your star orbiting with mine gravitationally brought me the love of my life, Elliot. Mm. And this, us being here, this has beautiful meaning. Is this what's going to mistake. turn him back to Mr. Me. Robot? Well, she's not under. I think she's still breathing. Yeah. Wake up. What happened? Eesh. Okay, okay, she got knocked out, I think. Why was that asshole here? Why am I in the tub? Okay, I was kind of hoping you would know that. What if he does it again? Promise me you won't do anything. I'm serious, Elliot. There's nothing to be done here. He could it's easily okay turn the guy in. Continuously getting legit refills isn't realistic, and neither is being a junkie. Hmm. So I quit cold turkey or let bear exist. Yeesh. I know what you're thinking. The answer's too obvious. Vera may have been groping Shayla before, but he's graduated to rape. Well. It's all part of the same blur, right? Just out of focus enough. It's the illusion of choice. And half of us can't even pick our own, our cable, our gas, electric, the water we drink, our health insurance. Well, we did it. Our choices are prepaid for us a long time ago. I'm sorry you feel you have no control. Some weird ass destiny. I've done some. Every time I try to play it or rip it, it just frees up my computer and spits it back out again. He's not okay. Hmm. He's acting so out of it at work today. Oh. 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 Wait. Who? Oh, God. Now that's not. That ain't, that's not Elliot. This is something new. We're in. Who the hell was that? I shouldn't have recognized him, right? I have a real plan. If you want me to let you back in, there's an understanding you have to come to, eh? A debt you have to pay, because remember, you walked away. I thought you didn't believe in debts. Not true. I believe in debts. I believe in erasing them. Hmm. Yeah, so we need to get rid of this debt now. Worked at Evil Corp his whole life. One of the best computer engineers they had. Hmm. And out of the blue, he got fired. No one knew why. One day he told me he had leukemia. Made me swear to never tell anyone, especially my mom. Hmm. Told my mom. When he found out, he got pissed. Started yelling. I remember I tried to hug him, tell him I'm sorry, and kept shoving me away, shoved me so hard. I I fell backwards out the window. I fell and I broke my arm. Whoa, jeez, okay. Never spoke to me after that. What you did to him, you ever think you deserved it? Hmm. I didn't do anything to him. I was trying to help him. Betraying his trust? I was eight years old. Whoop. Oh. Uh, there were rocks down there. You didn't commit to the sacred pact you formed. Is that... Please don't just end. Oh! It just ended. Oh, boy. Well, that, uh... So... So I said, oh, maybe he'll be, like, pulled by these two forces. We've kind of lost both of them. He rejected Evil Corp. And he has been rejected 
by Mr. Robot now. Okay. Well, that's, uh... He's got some work to do. He's got some work to do if he's going to get back with the team. He did have a plan to... He did have a plan to not kill innocent lives. But it's too late. Uh, see, now I don't know. I... Oh, boy, oh, boy. That's, uh... That is, a uh, Bit tricky, ain't it? Bit tricky. Um, I guess we can... Uh, go into the notes. Oh, boy. Um, okay. The first thing I wrote down is join Evil Corp. Which, again, I absolutely love that it just every time you hear it you just hear evil corp you know i mean i guess that's because we're we as the audience are in elliot's mind so i mean well kind of i mean obviously they do show scenes where he's not there but you know but that's how he hears it therefore that's how we hear it you know so it's just really funny, you know, because it's so, it's so, you know, like, I don't want to say, like, you know, just on the nose, but it's like, it's just funny. It's like, oh, you might as well just call it Evil Corp. So now everyone calls it Evil Corp because that's just how he hears it. Like, that is honestly really funny. So, but yes, join Evil Corp. Now, I thought there was going to be some sort of, like, plan that they were going to get him involved with but it really just seems to be join evil corp you know like they want to make him they want to make him like one of the top dogs i feel like, like one of the top dogs in like with the cybersecurity. so now why specifically why specifically because you know because obviously they know that it was Elliot that saved All Safe. But the thing is, they also found. I mean, he also found. Uh, uh, Tyrell, that's his name. I couldn't remember. I was going to say Terry Sullivan, but that's not it. I don't, I don't even know where the hell that came from. That's a name. I don't know where that name came from. It just popped into my head. But no, it's Tyrell. I don't know what. Ugh. I was going to make another reference, but I lost it. Anyway. Um, so Tyrell, I mean, he noticed that... He noticed that Elliot changed out the files. You know, the, the envelopes that he gave to uh, Colby and everything. So, obviously he recognizes something about Elliot. But they don't really say what. And they don't really say, like, what else he needs Elliot for, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know, like, how to explain it. It's like, I feel like we don't know everything about why Evil Corp wants Elliot, you know? Also, 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 let me pull up the cast. It is Alderson. Elliot Alderson. I swear to God it was El Elliot Anderson. Was it not... Am I insane? I think I'm insane. So. Yeah. I think I am definitely insane. So. I could have sworn it was Elliot Anderson. But no, it says Alderson. Alright. Well, whatever. It's not really... I mean, it's not really important. Um, but yeah. So, Okay. Then we had F Society release their message, which is, first off, to release Colby as their leader. Okay. I'm, again, I don't really know what that one was about. Let me go back, turn the subs back on. 
Um, you may notice throughout a majority of the episode, I did have subs turned on. That's because in that opening scene, like, they... Like, uh, Tyrell was talking, but I could barely hear him, so I immediately turned the subs back on. Or I immediately turned subs on, and then, um... And then after that, I, uh... After a while, though, uh, it was around when he was talking to Krista again. I, I turned them back off because they kind of got desynced a bit. So, and sometimes that happens. Okay, I'm gonna watch this part again. Hello, Evil Corp. We are F Society. Over the years, we've been watching you. Your financial abuse of the poor, your corruption of governments, your cover-ups of the murder of innocent ordinary citizens, all for the sake of profit. This is why we at F-Society have decided you must die. We are you must die. And hostile. We do not compromise. We are relentless. We will not stop until every tentacle of your evil monstrosity is sliced off at the nerve. But we are also not without mercy. Our latest talk was our last morning. Meet our demands and we will consider not destroying you. First, release our leader, Terry Colby, from your illegitimate prison immediately. Second, release all the people of the world from your even more illegitimate prisons of death. Third, dissolve your corporation and donate all your assets to charities around the world. This proposal is non-negotiable. The people are realizing they don't have freedom of choice so long as you exist. The people are waking up no longer accepting your economic slavery. Meet these demands, or we will kill you. Consider yourself warned. Okay, so... I mean, you pretty much know that Evil Corp is not going to just comply to these demands, you know? Now, interesting thing... Uh, the whole thing of, you know, do this or we will kill you. Which, at that point, is an ultimatum. Guess that distinction doesn't really make a difference here. Yeah, it's an ultimatum. Um, that is straight-up terrorism. Now, the question is... Obviously, no corporation worth their salt is going to do that. Obviously, and they probably know that. You know? But they're giving, you know... they're I guess they're giving the out, basically. Like, hey, we said we're not without mercy. Here is... Here's our demands. Meet them and we don't kill you. Um... So, while it's pretty obvious that Evil Corp wouldn't do that... What exactly are they going to do? Like, well, what's F Society going to do? Which I guess that's what we're going to call the group. F Society. What are they going to do? Um, I mean, because here's the thing. We do have, you know, we have the whole thing with Comet and uh, Steel Mountain. And Steel Mountain is, I guess, from what they describe it as, is kind of like this place where like you know no hacker can get in there and like well no did they say like they did they say it might be uh they might have said like it's uh a paper trail base or not a trail but it, like that's where everything is kept on paper uh let's see right next to Steel Mountain. Which, as you know, is the off-site and data storage facility for every corporation in this country, including everyone's favorite. Evil Corp. Bingo. We're going to destroy their tape backups. Tape backups, yeah. They're going to be looking out for something like that. They've been on high alert ever since the hack. Well, I heard they've caught their hacker, haven't they? No, they haven't. How about Wellick knows? What they want him to know. He's a corporate robot just like the rest of them. Besides... The entire company is going to be reeling from all the data dumps we've got in store for them, and man, we have some goodies. 
good old fashioned executive racism, sexism, fascism. Trust me, we are going to ism so much all over here, we won't be able to see straight. And asking for Kobe's release is ransom of genius. Then I'll make his spotlight bigger, keeping it off us. Ah. Uh. The only thing that will do these trains, I'd be that. She may look innocent, but I'd be careful. Got some Allah Akbar on her. While all that's going on, you will use your all safe security plan to hack the comic PLC, increase the pressure, causing a gas pipeline explosion, making Steel Mountain go kablooey along with evil corpse soldiers. You know about all this? Okay. So. The purpose of destroying Steel Mountain is their tape backups. So, I think how they said it, basically, is... There's information in there that hackers want to destroy. You can't hack your way in there, basically. That's that's what I'm getting. You can obviously correct me in the comments. I am well open to correction in the comments if I don't understand something. But... Okay. So they want to destroy the stuff. So that's why they're going to just blow it the F up, basically. Okay. There's that. Interesting. But, the problem really is not that, which that is, I mean, f well, okay, I mean, you know, I say like, oh, you know, this is straight terrorism, but I mean, yes and uh, kinda. Because this wouldn't be, you know, someone planting a bomb at this place. This is, you know, I, I guess, I don't know like how to phrase this, but like a bit more covert i guess because it's you know blowing up a pipeline so yeah elliot's problem is not blowing this place up it's the innocent lives it's the people that work there which they do say like hey you know you sound some alarms give them a warning it'll be fine which i mean yeah like well okay i mean i guess you know corporations there's probably people there around the clock you know it's not like you know like oh well everyone goes home at seven o'clock and from seven o'clock to five o'clock no one will be there like i'm sure there's people there 24 hours a day you know so it's not as simple as just wait for the right time to blow it up but yeah it's like even if you sound the alarms there is a risk you know there is a risk that people will die and Mr. Robot is not that concerned about it. Elliot is, though. Which I guess this sort of... Okay, how do I want to like try to describe this? I guess this shows the difference between Mr. Robot and Elliot. Because we've said, Elliot is a good guy. You know, he is a good guy. And... Honestly, with everything that he does as a vigilante, he's almost, you know, a hero, technically. You know, like I like we sort of compared, he's like Robin Hood. Robin Hood wouldn't let innocent people die just to, you know, do what he needed to do. So I guess there's the difference between Elliot and Mr. Robot. Hmm. I'm very curious, like, because that's, okay, so that's the thing. Whereas, I guess it's more of the difference between, I, I guess, sort of a hero like Elliot, someone who is trying to actually save, you know, save people, I guess, versus Mr. Robot, who's being more... Tactful, I guess. Tactful. Is that a word? That might not be a word. Strategic. Let's go with that. He's being a bit more strategic about this. He knows what he needs to do and how he needs to get it done. And if there's innocent lives, well, they died for the greater good. You know, this revolution must happen, basically. So, an interesting, you know... An interesting thing to put between, you know, a, a, a good, like, I guess a wedge between uh, Elliot and Mr. Robot. It's not that, you know, oh, they'll get along and they'll do everything perfectly. It's like, no, there is, 
there's conflict between the two of them because Mr. Robot is willing to do more, I, I guess, than Elliot. You know, he's willing to do anything, whereas Elliot doesn't want to kill people, basically. So it's, it, it is very interesting. I like that that's basically... That's basically sort of where we are with, uh, like, that's sort of the crux of this episode, I guess. So, yeah. If there was something earlier on. Was I going to look at something else? Maybe not. Oh, okay. So, the whole thing at the beginning with Tyrell, where he hacked him. His wife's maiden name in Sweden's Independence Date 6-6. Six, six. One six away from the obvious, but still, this is bad news practice. His life, it's nice, happy, perfect. This doesn't make sense. Did he know I was gonna hack him? Did he love me? I'm gonna need to wipe everything. Okay, so... Okay, so... He hacked into Tyrell, and it seemed like, oh, he lives like this perfect life, but that doesn't seem right. So... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So he had to basically just wipe everything... I guess so that there is no proof of the hack or it's untraceable. I don't know. I, I'm i not sure. He doesn't exactly explain. I guess it's that. Oh, yeah. Anyway, uh, what's next? Binary. Yeah, I guess we could... Going back to that a little bit. So, binary. Are you a zero or are you a one? Um... It is interesting, some of these, like, tech references they make. Okay, I'm not the most, like, tech-savvy guy, really. Like, I, I know I, I know a term or two, but that's about it. I'm, li I'm completely nowhere near, you know, Elliot's level or anything like that. But, um, but it's just interesting, you know, sometimes when they bring up, uh, when they bring up some of these, like, tech references, they feel, I want to say, like out of place or weird but it's I, I don't know maybe you know maybe it's because i never hear references like these in, on television so it's like are you a one or are you a zero and he's being all dramatic and stuff i'm like ah, uh, I, I don't know why are you yelling binary at me man oh so i don't know it's just i i don't know i guess it's just maybe that's it is because i don't hear that often in shows in tv or movies so to have that be like a thing that is referenced, you know, tech stuff that is referenced often on this show is just kind of weird, I guess. But yeah, do you, oi, do you, do you stand by and do nothing, or do you actually, you know, try to do something? Which I get it, you know, and Elliot is the kind of guy who, yeah, he, he does do something. That's, that's his whole thing. He does something to help people with his vigilant his vigilante stuff but um uh, i don't know it's but there is a line between yes let's you have to do something and then do you have to do everything like there has to there does have to be sort of a line like okay you want to take down steel mountain okay but your way of doing it could cost people their lives. It's a bit, that's a bit tougher. That's a bit tougher to swallow, man. Like, you shouldn't be so casual about people's lives like that, you know? Because it's not like, you know, okay, Terry Colby. Like, okay, yeah, he, he ran Evil Corp and stuff like that. Or, uh, the, the dealer the or the supplier the supplier who you know had started raping shayla and stuff like that or 
uh, last episode with like Ron's coffee, you know, he had child pornography and stuff like that. It's like there's a difference between that and this person works at this building. Like and and that's the thing too is that all these people so far you've just taken down, gotten them, you know, arrested. You know, Elliot took down Ron, took down, you know, Terry, like they these people have gotten arrested. You're talking about people who just work at a building dying for your revolution. Like that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a lot. That's a lot. It's like no wonder Elliot, you know, walks out. It's like this is a little much. This is a little much. You know, you don't like d- does the janitor need to die? Probably not. But that's what Mr. Robot's going to do. So that's the thing. It's it, it's good conflict between them, you know? Speaking of the supplier, we did have that. Um I mean, that was just weird. That is just weird, you know? This is just here's this dude in his underwear talking to Elliot and being like, "Oh, yeah, it's because of you that I met Shayla and stuff like that. I was like, oh, okay. It's like, oh, that, uh, you know, because it sucks. It's like, you know, he's basically pinning it. It's like, he, he's basically saying, it's like, hey, if you, you know, hate me and everything like that, it's like, well, it's your fault because you needed the drugs. And, you know, the entire time, Elliot's basically thinking, like, okay, I have been able to turn this guy in multiple times. Like, I've had that opportunity. If I do this, I lose my drug supply, which is why he hasn't done that. And it's, it is one of those things where it's, you know, he weighs his options like, okay, Shayla's life would, would be better. I did my drugs. You know, it's like, it's a very tricky, I mean, you would sit here and be like, well, the, the, the selfless thing to do would be to help Shayla. But those drugs are important to him. Does that suck? Yes. But that does suck that he has had to basically let this girl you know interact with this guy because he needed the drugs but i don't know it's one of those things where it's like you can't really justify it you know it's just it just is a thing that elliot has had to let this girl interact with this guy because he needed needed those drugs basically but he draws the line he draws the line he puts his foot down at rape which is what this guy did so he's out and so i'm very curious how this is going to uh, affect elliot moving forward you know what's he going to do now without his drugs how is he going to cope i guess um okay so i do remember it took me a little while to remember this but they did talk about it last episode the whole thing with the father and the cancer or i mean they said they had leukemia I guess I must speak French. Anyway, um, yeah, they did mention that last episode. It's just one of those things I forgot again because I haven't edited the last episode yet. Ugh, because see, that's the thing. When I edit an episode, you know, I have to go through the entire episode and you know, I have to listen to it multiple times to make sure like the audio is good and everything. So I like details stick in my head more if I've already edited the episode. So, yeah, but I, I do remember now uh, they talked about that. Um, so that was interesting, and the whole thing with uh, trust, you know, that was also pretty interesting. Uh, I was like, yeah, you know, maybe, you know, maybe he was right to do that. I was like, uh, I'm not sure about that. He threw a kid out a window and broke his arm. Like, I don't know. It's like, oh, because you betrayed his trust and stuff like that. And then, because this whole time, you know, he's... He's got his hand on Elliot's shoulder, and it's like, dude, he does not like to be friggin' touched, man. But that's all for a purpose, to throw him off. And that's the thing, man. When they were, like, you know, sitting there and stuff, and it's like, oh, man. Like, they would cut, they would, like, look down, and it's like, yeah, there's some rocks. and I mean, there's garbage, but there's some rocks. There's a little bit of sand. And I was like, man, I would not want to, like, sit there. You know, it's probably uncomfortable sitting on just this, you know, railing. But I would not want to sit there. But sure enough, push like geez okay it's like oh yeah you broke the trust with us so it's not gonna be an easy like oh welcome back you know welcome back to f society so i don't know like 
you know, again, like at the be- at the at the end of last episode, I was like, okay, how are how are these two things going to pull on Elliot, you know, and what's going to happen? Now it's like, well, he's lost both of those things. He said no. He said no to uh, Evil Corp, and he said, you know, he pretty much left uh, F Society. And it's like, well, what does he do now? I still think somehow he needs to go in and play both sides. I don't know how. I don't know what he would do specifically. But I, I just feel like that would be really cool if he went in and actually played both sides. He's like the friggin' emperor. You know, put, put that hood up and he'll be the emperor. Ugh. Do it. Anyway. But yeah. The only other thing uh, I really wrote down was Ali. Cheating bastard. God damn it. Uh, yeah. Ali. Cheating bastard. And then, okay, what the hell was it at the end with the, the, we're in. Like, what? What are you talking about? It's like, is this, does this have anything to do with anything? Like, what? It's like, yeah, it's like some guy spying on Angela while she's taking a shower. And it's like, uh, okay. And, you know, and then they type, it's like, we're in. And it's like, so is this something specific? Like, are they spying on her? Or is this just a perverted hacker? Like, Something's going on there, but I don't know, but yeah. But, I mean, I guess that's pretty much all I wrote down. Good episode, really interested in where we're going. I like that, again, at the end of this episode, we're now, like, at the opposite of where we ended last episode. Where last episode, I was like, okay, how are they going to pull on him? Now it's, well, shit, how does he get either of them back, you know? If he wants to get Evil Corp back. I don't know, I would still feel like the plot would be like, oh, well, let's go, we gotta do something there, you know, he's, he's got a specific goal there, not just, you know, to work there, but I don't know what that would be right now, so, yeah, and then, obviously, it's more of, how does he, you know, get back with F Society and gain their trust, I don't know, we'll have to see, but that's pretty much it, with all that being said, I'm Alex from 7th Hour Films, and I will see you guys next time, take care. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to watch more of my Mr. Robot reactions, you can click on the playlist, you can subscribe if you haven't done that already, and be sure you hit that notification bell. You can support me on Patreon and follow me on social media, links below in the description. See you guys later.